the, how the hat is shiny? Well, that's what they did. What they would do at the factory is they'd shave all this fur off with a, a, like a hair clipper, put it in a machine, the blue air across it, like your dryer at home, your mom dries your clothes in, and the air would blow away the long hairs and they'd leave the short hairs behind. Then these hairs, they tend to stick together almost. They're like Velcro. They just naturally hang together. And it was real easy to form them into felt and make, make a hat out of it. And they were using, a, back in the 1800s, they were using 100,000 beavers a year. You know, that's, that's a lot of money to be made by somebody who's brave enough to go into the world and trap beavers. And so a lot of people took that as an opportunity to make money. That's where the fur trappers and the mountain man came, out, came about. And what, what uh, we're representing here is, is a rendezvous. But a rendezvous, that's a French word for arranged place of meeting. And what would happen is the mountain man, he had to have things that could only be made in a city like gunpowder and sugar and tea and, and, and traps and stuff like that. But if he had to make the trip all the way back to the civilization, that was a long trip. Someone named William Ashley thought, why don't we meet them halfway? We'll bring the stuff they need and we'll make it like a party for the mountain man. And the mountain man came down and they had a big trading session. They had a lot of fun. They had parties and contests and they misbehaved a little bit, <laughs> drank a little bit. And this went on for several weeks. And the mountain man uh, traded his beaver pelts that he had been tra keeping, uh, trapping all day, all, all a couple months, and, and traded for his supplies. But something happened. You don't see mountain men anymore, do you? Well, what happened was someone found out, I told you a little bit of a fib, this is made out of silk. You can make a hat that looks out of silk that looks so close to beaver. And you know what? Silk is cheaper. Everybody likes a bargain. And when the people who made hats found out they could sell hats cheaper using silk, all of a sudden they didn't want this anymore. And so the price of this went down. And so what happened? The mountain man didn't have as much money. And you know, it was expensive to bring all that stuff the mountain man needed across the United States and the rivers to this rendezvous so the mountain man could buy and trade for it there. So what happened was, all of a sudden, there wasn't enough money to buy the stuff. All of a sudden, the mountain man just went broke. He didn't have enough money to make a living anymore. And it all stopped in about 1840. So you'll probably learn this in history someday in school. But remember, it was all basically about this fancy hat.